Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin for those of you that are new here. And if you're not, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here today. In today's video, I'm back with another mellow morning movement. So if you've never done this practice with me before, it's gentle stretching, some soft shapes, just to bring life and length into the body, preparing for your day ahead. Now, there is no true restraint that you have to do this practice in the morning. It's a great practice that you can implement into the middle of your day, or you can do this even before going to bed. If you'd like some length and spaciousness in the body, these are some great shapes that you can explore in your nighttime routine. Before we get started, if you enjoyed today's video, then please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And with that, we'll get right into the practice. So we'll start today by establishing a comfortable seat. And in this comfortable seat, you are full of effort, but no extra effort. From your tailbone up through the crown of your head, the very top of the skull, you become long and lifted. And as the heart space begins to rise and open, there's spaciousness in the diaphragm and in the belly. And you start to send your breath to that region of your body, inhaling deeply through your nose. And exhaling slowly through your nose. And for the next few rounds of breath, I'll cue us through Sama Vritti breath, or the balance of your inhalation to your exhalation. Let's cleanse our exhale to prepare and establish community today. Take a deep breath in. Open mouth, let it go. And allow the eyes and mouth to close. Breathe in through the nose. Four, three, two, one, breathe out through the nose. One, two, three, four. In through the nose. Four, three, two, one. Out through the nose. One, two, three, four. One more time. Inhale. Four, three, two, one, out through the nose, one, two, three, four. Allowing the eyes to open as you continue to move the breath, nostrils down to the low belly, low belly up to the nostrils. Switching the cross of your legs, opposite foot, ankle, shin takes the front. And as you breathe in, arms sweep up, Palms touch if that's safe. And with the exhale, flip the palms down, slowly releasing the chin towards the chest. Two more like that. Inhale, arms sweep up. Flip the palms and with the exhale, lower the hands down. Let's go one more. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, lower. Inhale, arms sweep high. And with the exhale, release your right hand to the floor, bow out your left side body. We'll keep that fluid. Inhale, arms lift up. And with the exhale, release your left hand, bow out your right side body. Your rhythm, your pace. Option to close the eyes. As you breathe in, find center. And as you breathe out, take it to opposite side. Slower, the better. Smoother, the better. Then you want to make sure that you're finishing up with your left hand down and your right arm high, and then come back to center. With your in-breath, squeeze the shoulders up into the ears, and with the out-breath, roll them back and down. And let's go two more like that. Inhale, squeeze the shoulders up. Exhale, roll them back and down. One more time. Inhale, up. And exhale, lower. So let's unwind the legs, take a big wide V shape. Feel the sitting bones anchor into the floor, into the bed, just depending on where you are. And point your toes, flex your feet, point your toes. And what you want to avoid here is this kind of crunching and rounding into the spine, rather stay lifted and long. 
And from pointing and flexing, take some rotations into the ankles. You can do this simultaneous action, begin to rotate your wrists. And whichever direction you start with, allow these smaller joints to fatigue, stick with the same direction. The breath is free, the breath is deep. And then switch the direction of ankle and wrist rotations. Feeling into your 10 fingers and allowing the prana, the awareness to travel into your 10 toes. For me, I'm finding that the joints are a little bit more cracky and poppy today. No judgment, no reaction. Then keeping the legs long in that big wide V, the feet stay flexed with your in-breath, upward arms. With your out-breath, bend into your left elbow, bow out through your right side body. We'll keep that fluidity, inhale up. Exhale, bend into the right and bow out your left side. Your rhythm, your pace, inhale up. Exhale, over. Maybe the eyes close. Keeping the life in the feet. 10 toes, 10 fingers. And as you finish up the round that you're on, take the forward fold, extend the hands, the arms out long in front of you. Relax the shoulders down and keep activity out through the feet. We take five rounds of breath. We'll hold a little bit longer, allowing the posture to do its job. And releasing tension in the hips and the hamstrings and the low back and allowing your body to breathe in the pose. Option when you exhale, you take the posture any degree deeper. If that doesn't feel safe, you simply don't do it. One more full round of breath. Walk the hands back towards the groin, lift up through your torso. Collect your legs out long in front of you. And let's meet in a tabletop. So you have the hands and the knees grounded. Walk the inner knees together and take your feet wider than your hips. Please take your time, move gently and with control. Walk your hands back towards your knees. You might as option one and take a seat on the pillow. So this is a little more restorative. It's far more gentle on the hips, the knees, and the ankles. If your body's giving you the green light, then you bring your hips all the way down in between the two ankles and in between the two feet. If you're in the full expression and you've taken your seat, take a lift into the heart and roll your shoulders back. Allow your gaze to steady or your eyes to close. And bring awareness into the breath that is moving freely and deeply into the body. more round of breath. When you're upright on height, you want to clear that off. Journey forward back into your tabletop. Extend your right leg long, tuck right toes to the bed or to the floor, and then shift the weight forward and backward. Think of lifting your right kneecap up into your right quad. And switching that out, extend your left leg long, tuck toes. Pulse the weight. So allow fresh blood flow to circulate through the left knee, upward through left thigh and hip. Then return back, tabletop. Inhale, right arm high. Gaze follows your right fingers and with your exhale, thread your needle, hover your right shoulder off of the bed or off of the floor. Two more, breathing in. Stand up and with the exhale, twist. One last time, big inhale. And complete exhale. 
And turn the right hand back down to the bed or to the floor and with your inhale, left arm high. Extend up and with the exhale, hover, but thread your needle. You twist. Two more, breathe it in. And empty it out. One more time, filling up. And emptying out. Left hand returns to the floor, to the bed. Then extend your legs out long in front of you. Come back to your seat. The feet are flexed and with your breath in, upward arms. Option to gaze up and with the breath out, you forward fold. If you're feeling this in the length of your hamstrings, you don't have to force, you do not have to go any further. But much like we explored when the legs were separate, with every exhalation, deepen your fold. Now for me personally, when I'm just waking up in the morning and I find a seated forward fold to this degree, I do find a little more resistance in my low back body. So if that's the case for you, what you want to avoid is dropping the chin to the chest. Rather keep the gaze forward on the tips of the toes. Three more rounds of breath. When you breathe in, you feel that you're breathing in. And when you breathe out, you feel that you're breathing out. And come back up, press into the palms. You'll bend deeply into your right knee, hug right knee into your chest. Right here might be enough, but if it feels appropriate on your right hip, stamp the sole of your right foot outside of your left thigh. Reach your right fingertips behind the body. Again, you might stay right here. Hug your right thigh into your torso or option to hook. Left elbow, left tricep on the top of your right thigh. Gaze can be forward, chin above the heart space or send the gaze beyond your right shoulder. Three cycles of breath. Twisting deeply from the low back. Then you feel your ribs. And finally, a squeeze at the shoulder blades. Think a high heart and lifted head. Hello, AC. You want to release the twist on an exhale, unwind. Send your right leg long to meet your left. You might do a little shake out, bounce of the knees, and then begin again. Bend deeply into your left knee. You might stay right here. Or cross the left foot over the midline. Press the sole of your left foot into the ground. Hug with the right arm. Kick stand through the left fingers. If you'd like, inhale, right arm high, look up. Exhale, hook the right elbow. Chin might stay above the sternum or send the gaze beyond the left shoulder. Shoulders are down and the heart stays high. And remember you unwind on an exhale, slow release. Extend left leg long to meet your right, little bobble out of the knees. Let's collect the legs, rather collect your feet, soles of feet together, let your knees splay wide. With your in breath, arms sweep up. With the out breath, eagle arms. Extend the left arm forward, hook your right elbow in your left elbow crease. Hands to your blades, half wrap or full wrap around. With your in breath, arms lift high. With your out breath, elbows into the solar plexus or into the front ribs and release hands towards the feet. Take a couple rounds of breath and become really curious about expanding your side bodies, expanding your spine when you breathe in. And let that curiosity flow into the exhale. Can you completely empty out your lungs? Bring a little press into the feet, heels, ball mounds, and toes into one another. And with your inhale, upward arms, you feel the ripple of that, the echo of that run through the body. With your exhale, extend your right long, switching it out, bend into the left elbow. Hands to blades, half wrap or full wrap around. With your in breath, get really high on the elbows and fingers. 
And with the exhale, squeeze the elbows into your upper abdomen and forward fold. If your back body allows, feel free to release the chin towards the chest. Practicing with a sense of curiosity. Practicing with a sense of patience. Inhale, let your arms sweep up. And with your exhale, release the hands. Collect the knees in towards the chest and recline down to your back. Draw the knees in towards the heart, just do a little hug. Hands can rest on the shins or the kneecaps. If that feels good, send your legs in some small circles. And stamp your feet down to the ground or onto your bed. Palms rest at your sides with your inhale bridge pose. Lengthen your tailbone towards the backs of your knees. Initially, let's explore squeezing the glutes to tease a little more height out of the hips, but then relax your butt altogether. Arms can lift up towards the ceiling or the arms can go long overhead. If neither of those two feel good, just stay with the initial placement. Hold for your inhale. And with the exhale, release your hips down. Keep the knees bent. Toe heel your feet just a little bit wider than where they already are. And do some wide windshield wipers. The knees just sway easy to the right and to the left. All while breathing deeply and freely into the low belly. And cross right ankle over left thigh, figure four. Option to keep your left foot on the ground or lift the legs up. This is a great stretch for the outer right hip and right glute. If you'd like a bind, send your right hand in between your legs, interlacing on your left hamstrings or left shin. Soften the chin below the forehead, breathe in. And as you breathe out, half happy baby pose. Take your right knee wider than your rib cage. Flex your right foot. Your right heel is above the right knee. Wrapping your right hand to the right hamstrings, right shin, or the bottom of your right foot. Now, as you can see where I am, first expression, your left knee stays bent. If you'd like more, extend your left leg long. And together we breathe in. With the exhale, release. Figure four, second side, left ankle over right thigh. Again, let the sensation arrive. If it's safe and appropriate, consider the bind on right hamstrings or the right shin. And just feel that you're breathing. Slow and steady. Take a breath in. With your breath out, half happy baby pose. Left knee draws wider than your ribs. Remember that you have options from exploring the bind, the left hand, left hamstrings, to shin or bottom of your left foot. You can keep your right knee bent or extend your right leg long. Take a few rounds of breath into the deepening of your left hip crease. Breathe in deeply. With the breath out, release. And into our final stretch before Shavasana. 
a couple of progressions for where we are going. Option one is to stick with hug of the knees to the chest. This is your apanasana or full wind relieving pose. This is great for digestion and bringing fresh blood flow into the internal organs. So this is a great place to be. If you decide that you would like a little bit more from apanasana, we work into plow pose or halasana. Keeping the gaze steady up towards the ceiling, extend your legs. Taking your hands to your upper butt, you begin to hoist your hips up, up, up into the air. You might start to reach the toes towards the floor behind you, but take your time. And please recall that the head and neck stay incredibly still. To whatever degree you're in the shape, you have three, two, and one, lowering the hips, the feet. And whether you're releasing from plow or full wind relieving pose, let's counter with a bridge. Inhale, hips high. Squeeze the glutes and then soften. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, lower the hips to the ground. Little windshield wiper. And if at this point in the practice, there is anything that feels left untouched, undone, work out your final poses. For me, I would encourage a full expression of happy baby. Hips wider than the torso, take a bind that feels good. For me today, I'm just going to let the hands extend and the elbows rest on the thighs. Five rounds of breath if you're here with me in happy baby. Let's breathe it in. With the out breath, you'll release and make your way into final Shavasana. Extend the arms and the legs long at your sides. Hands open with a natural curl in your fingers. And as you start your settling into Shavasana corpse pose, you want to consciously let go of the process of moving the process of fidgeting and adjusting yourself. You make the decision, the commitment to be still for the next few breaths, the next few moments. And to support this surrender, if you'd like to join me in a cleansing exhalation from the bottom of your belly, breathe in freely. And then open mouth, let it go. And with that, may you enjoy your time and final rest. May you enjoy your time and chosen ease.
And keeping your eyes closed as you bring awareness back to the breath. A breath that is both free and deep. If your time allows, please take it in your final resting pose or drift off into sleep. If you're ready to return back to your day, start to deepen your inhale, lengthen your exhale with a little more enthusiasm. Then deliver life and change into your 10 fingers, 10 toes. As if you were just awakening for the first time today, take a full body stretch. Then find that hug, draw the knees into the chest. Gentle squeeze, just enough sensation. Rolling over to your right side and then join me upright. Come back to your comfortable seat. Feel the energetic lift and opening in your heart. And then notice if you can carry that energy into the physical body, lengthening the head upright. Hands unite at the center of the chest with a soft bow of chin to heart. And my hope for you is that your practice is continuous, your heart steady, and your efforts of benefit to all beings. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings know peace. May all beings walk through this life with ease. Carry your thumbs up to the space above and between the eyebrows with so much love and gratitude to each and every one of you. We close this practice with a collective bow. Namaste. Thank you, everybody. It was truly my pleasure to guide you through this practice. Again, my name is Caitlin, and that's all that I have for you today, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I think I'm just going to restart it all again. All right, take two.